Um, I chose to go to Malaysia because at that point in time I felt like uh, Malaysia was uh, more related to my country, Uganda, than any other country in the world. And I felt like it has had some, um, the level of uh, development they had, uh, they, had, um, they had reached at that time was something that I felt my country needs to look up to. So uh, I felt like I had more to learn from uh, Malaysia. When I was done with my undergrad, um, I felt like I needed to, you know, take it to the next level, uh, get my get a higher education in a, in a situ in a place that is well recognized for for my career career line, and I chose AU because it's located right right in the heart of um, right in the heart of Washington D.C., which is like you know the PR capital of the world. Everything there's no city in the world that has more information coming in and going out than Washington D.C. One of my main goals come when I uh, when I got here in DC was to adapt as soon as possible. So I remember taking trains to to nowhere, like you know, uh, taking a train not knowing exactly where I'm going to end up, but you know, just to get used to the city. So I um, I um, I try to get I, I try to get out of the shell of uh, of my room of my dormitory and and try to one you know try to go beyond the walls and see how far it takes you you know, getting immersed in American culture and then all of a sudden you have to you have to produce at, um, at a level of someone who understands uh, American culture 100%. Like um, some of my assignments need me to be uh, understanding what's happening in Congress. I mean, what's happening in Congress and, um, you know, uh, what, what's happening at a hill and um, and what's happening in rural America, and you know that, that's a challenge, definitely. I feel like um, I feel like it has uh, it has contributed to my thirst for knowledge. I feel like um, I feel like I've learned more about myself, about what I can accomplish by by in my time here as, as uh, you know studying here at AU. I mean, I remember my first grade. I, in one of my favorite classes, which is strategic communication, when I just arrived, I um, I got a seventy percent, which is a C, and um, well, that that's like a C, that's a, I don't know in in my previous institution that would probably be like a B, but I got a C, and um, it um you know that I was comfortable with that before, but uh, right right getting a C here is is uh, it's close to failing. It's almost it's failing because the minimum you can get is a B. So I, um, it somehow prompted it pushed me to aim for the pass mark, which is an A, and which is ninety percent. And um, that just changed my philosophy, my attitude towards work. I mean, all of a sudden I was aiming at one hundred percent. My my long term, I'll, I'll be honest, I do not have a clear perspective of where I'm going to end up and I, and I like it like that uh, of what I'm going to end up doing um, right now I'm just focused on deserving success I want to do the best I can so I can be deserving um, you know you can you cannot guarantee success but you can you can deserve it